Sigourney Kyoto football fans, Steve Shuttler Media is teaming up with Clint Dye of Tag Team Photography to bring you coverage of Sigourney Kyoto football this fall. You've seen Clint's fantastic photos of Sigourney Kyoto football over the last few years. And now Clint is bringing those talents to be showcased on Steve Shuttler Media. We're going to have pictures and action shots of each and every game, an in-depth article, and a video highlight of the game as well. You won't miss a thing with Sigourney Kyoto football coverage right here this year on Steve Shuttler Media. The Keokuk County Sheriff's Office is taking applications for a full-time jailer dispatcher. The position requires a high school diploma or equivalent. Applications for employment can be picked up at the Keokuk County Sheriff's Office anytime or go online at www.keokukcounty.iowa.gov and download an application form. The full-time position will include Keokuk County's benefit package. Starting wage is $23 per hour and could be higher depending on experience. Application deadline is Friday, August 30th at 4 p.m. or until filled. Keokuk County is an equal opportunity employer. Central Empire Wrestling presents Bridge City Slam 6 live Saturday, September 7th at the Bridgeview Center in Ottumwa. Come see Jake the Snake Roberts, Buff Bagwell, former WWE Tag Team Champions Demolition, Real One Enzo Amore, The Powers of Pain, The Boogeyman, Snitsky, Jordan Grace, Cameron Brene, and the stars of CEW. Tickets start at just $20 and include the Fan Fest from 4 to 7 p.m. Get your tickets through Ticketmaster or at the Bridgeview Center in Ottumwa. It's Bridge City Slam 6, live Saturday, September 7th at the Bridgeview Center in Ottumwa. Here at Helmuth Ford, we are a small town dealership with no hassle and no pressure. Fraud isn't always an evil deed done from the other side of the globe. It could be an inside job. Know how your money comes and goes on Successful Farming Radio. Successful Farming Radio, providing information farmers need in the field, in the shop, and in the office. Committed to growing your business in agriculture. Interact with Successful Farming on social media. Like us on Facebook at Successful Farming USA and follow us on X at Successful Farm for tips, ideas, timely news, and information from our editors. Find us on Instagram at Successful underscore Farming and love the latest photo or video. And take a look behind the scenes with our editors on TikTok at Successful underscore Farming. Check out our full lineup of Successful Farming podcasts. The Successful Farming podcast goes in-depth into the topics that affect farmers and ranchers. The 15 Minutes with a Farmer podcast offers a quick conversation between an editor and a farmer. The SF Shorts podcast offers bite-sized interviews about agricultural topics. And the SF Daily podcast covers commodity markets, weather, and the big things happening in agriculture each morning. Search for Successful Farming wherever you download your podcasts. Fraud comes in many forms. Theft, overcharges, unauthorized credit card use. These are real situations that happen on farms, both large and small. Be aware of the risks, learn how to prevent them, and stay vigilant. Sean Williamson is a CPA with the Fick, Egemeyer, and Williamson firm in St. Louis, Missouri. He says you're probably keeping an eye on the people you don't trust, but it's the people you trust the most who have an opportunity to steal because you're not watching them. For example, unscrupulous employees may buy extra or unneeded parts for a tractor, return them later, and pocket the refund. Accountants and bookkeepers have also been known to pilfer their clients' money. There is no room for complacency. Well, I think the number one thing is to review the bank statement, including images of the checks and seeing what was actually deposited, what was actually paid out, and you understand why everything that went out, why it went out, and that it was proper. And the credit card statements as well. Be sure you get what you paid for. If you bought four tons of lime but were billed for six, it may be more sinister than a simple math error. As you go over your invoices, make sure each one is legitimate. Fraudsters are out there sending out invoices. Here's an invoice. You never got this part, but pay me anyway. It could be fake invoices for uh, fertilizer or seed. And on the surface, it seems like, yeah, that seems correct. I must have ordered fertilizer or seed, but in reality, no. Just a complete fake invoice. I'm Jody Henke. Find more tips for preventing farm fraud at agriculture.com. <laughs> 